Yachts for Sale YouTube channel opening a window into the world of yacht brokerage and today we look at three Explorer yachts that can be run by a couple. You ready for this? I was born ready, David. <laughs> I refer, of course, to a couple who are competent sailors and who have the necessary qualifications. Now, regulations vary enormously throughout the world, but generally speaking, owners who want to operate their own vessel prefer to have a yacht that's under 24 meters load line length. That's something we discussed in a video a couple of weeks ago. So in this video, I'm focusing on Explorer yachts within that category, some built by some pretty well-known yacht builders and others not. And actually the first yachts I want to show you are designed by a company called Nude E. Hansen, who are based in Denmark and usually design far larger commercial ships. A fact that's quite appealing when it comes to explorer yacht design. These two yachts are called Poseidon with the blue hull and Arizona in the gray. And they were actually designed to be operated by a minimum of two people. I'd never heard of this design firm before. But the builder, Holland Yachtbau, is a very well-respected company based in the Netherlands that gives me reason to believe that the build quality will be superb. Here's what we do know about these yachts that share exactly the same hull and naval engineering. The hull of the yacht is built from steel and the superstructure from aluminium. Actually, the hull has five watertight bulkheads in it, which sounds a lot to me. They have a maximum speed of 12 knots and an economic speed of 10 knots, thanks to propulsion from a Taylor hybrid silent running system. Now I could find nothing out online about that specific system, but what I do know is that the designer states that the power is also diesel electric and the two engines are 368 kilowatts each. So my best guess is that these can be used either to mechanically propel the yacht or as generators to charge batteries for limited silent running. I can also tell you that even though the load line of the yacht is under 24 meters, so therefore not in the category of a large yacht, it does reach large yacht code classification. So they're built to standards intended for a much larger vessel. Frustratingly, I couldn't find out the range of those yachts. I've reached out to both the designer and to the builder. The designer got back to me fairly quickly and basically said, look at our website. Whilst the builder so far hasn't responded at all, I have to say I'm not particularly surprised by that. It's not like I had a, a qualified buyer who wants to build one of those yachts, in which case I'm sure they would have engaged with me a lot more quickly and a lot more thoroughly. And I have to say, by the way, if you are a qualified buyer, do let me know because I will knock their door down until we can get you the information uh, that you need to have and make something happen. That said, let's take a look at the next yacht. And it will come as no surprise to you that bearing yachts have to be featured here. When I visited the yard a few months ago, I toured a 76 foot yacht in construction that actually was built for a couple who want to cruise extensively worldwide. And of course, you'll be familiar with these two individuals who are also intending to operate their own yacht as a charter vessel, this time a Bering 75. Actually, Naughty Styles have a great second channel called Naughty Guys, and I'd recommend that if you are part of a couple looking to build an explorer yacht, you have to watch that channel. I'll put a link at the end of this video to one of their latest videos in which Victoria gives some great feedback on just how big a Bering 75 is. That's not the largest yacht that Bering build that is under the 24 meter load line though. The Bering 80 is, and it is huge in terms of volume. Now, if you watched the vlog about Wally yachts a few weeks ago, you'll remember that the Ferretti 920 with a length overall of 28.49 meters has a volume of 120 gross tons, whilst the Wally Y200 has an overall length of 2703 meters with an astonishing volume of 200 gross tons. Well, the Bering 80 is shorter still in length at 26.2 meters, but has a mammoth 
233 gross tons. I mention this not to say that you should get as large a yacht as you can, but rather because you should take the gross tonnage into account when you consider the prices of various yachts. A few very useful facts and figures about the Bering 80. She's powered by two Cummins 450 horsepower engines and at eight and a half knots has a range of over 5,000 nautical miles. This is due in part to the fact that her fuel tanks are enormous. They hold just under 40,000 litres of fuel, in fact. To put this in context, the Wally Y200 has a 12,000 litre capacity. The top speed of the Bering 80 is 10.5 knots. You can see in this image that there's space for a tender on the bridge deck. Now that's an important consideration with an Explorer yacht. And the maximum sized tender that you can put there is 5.2 meters. So that's about 17 feet. This is a very large yacht with room in fact for five crew. So even though technically a couple could run her, I think I would probably advise them to look at a slightly smaller model if they were my clients. And whilst bearing yachts are built with big steel hulls, big engines and big fuel tanks, Arxon yachts are offering something fit for the same purpose, but with a whole different approach. The Arxon 85 has a slimline, highly optimized hull with self-writing capability. Not that you would ever want to put that to the test. Each one is built from aluminium and hull number one will have a hybrid propulsion system based on three 200 kilowatt generators, two lithium ion battery banks and two 250 kilowatt electric motors. I'll be able to give you a lot more details about how that works very soon. More about that later though. It's interesting at this point to compare the Arxon with the other two yachts as far as we can with the data that we have. The gross tonnage of the Nude E Henson designed yachts is 162. The Bering 80 is 233. And the Arxon is 164 gross tons, which to be honest is more than I expected. The top speed of the Nude E Henson yachts is 12 and a half knots. The Bering 80 is 10 and a half knots. And the Arxon is predictably faster at 14 knots. The fuel tank capacity of the Nude E Hansen designed yachts is not published, so we don't know. The Bering 80 is 39,750 litres, and the Arxon has a capacity of 18,000 litres, so less than half. But that makes the final comparison especially interesting as we look at the range. And I'll leave the Nude E Hansen yachts out of this because, again, we don't know. The Bering 80 has a range of just over 5,000 nautical miles at a speed of eight and a half knots, whilst the Arxon 85 has a range of 7,000 nautical miles at nine knots. All of this goes to show that there's a lot to consider when you're going to buy an Explorer yacht or any other yacht come to that. Do you go for the big steel hull, traditional engines and lots of volume? Or do you go for something more sophisticated with better range, that's faster, but with much less volume. In the next couple of months, I'll be filming both at Arxon and at Bering, but for two very different reasons. Arxon have invited the team and I to go and film that first Arxon 85 in Spain. So I'll be able to dig a little bit deeper into those technical details and the features that it has and show you all around the yacht. Whilst Bering, have invited me to spend a few days on board one of their yachts in South Turkey with somebody who I think you're very familiar with. I'm not going to tell you who because I don't want to spoil the surprise, but that's a video well worth looking out for. It only remains for me to remind you that this channel is called Yachts for Sale for a reason. Not only do we bring you videos of scores of yachts that are actually for sale and introduce you to the brokers and the managers of those yachts, but also we're here to find you a suitable yacht that you may wish to buy. So if any of the yachts we've shown today are of interest to you, do get in touch. And if you're not in a position just yet to actually purchase a yacht, don't be disappointed about that. Just reach out very gently and press the like button on this video. Some say it brings untold wealth and prosperity. What are you laughing at, Yannick? Is something making you? Did I get the position right for the like?